international title. So he's no pushover to the undefeated Carl James Martin. You know, Carl James Martin already outside when he was stepping in too. Pops in his jab, established. Goes to jab straight hook already. Very, very nice crisp shots for Martin. And a lot of people are saying this fight, this, this fight, despite being scheduled for 10, will not make it to 10 rounds. You know, Martin looks like a very crafty fighter. Snap on the foot. Yeah, and, and he doesn't do much of the dancing that you see from other fighters. No, no, this guy no, is no, flat-footed, no, no. and he assassinates people. I mean, I remember what he did to Petro uh, Hey uh, Cook at gym in the third round. He just decked him. Power Out of the blue, cold. Power. Cold one hand, one hand strike. It's that fast switch muscles. Yeah. Looks like he's training. I don't know what they're doing at the Ifugao province, but yeah. he's training. And uh, Ben is here, Alulod, again, no pushover. This guy also knows what he's doing. But the nice thing about Alulod, the four bouts that I've covered for, for him before, after the first round, if he survives the first round in this one, by the way, after the first round, he's a different fighter because he now adjusts to his opponent. So he collects that data, Yeah. makes sure. So what uh, it could be for Martin, what he needs to do is just start, start fast. That's yeah. the main thing. Don't let him, don't allow him to get that data. I think he just heard us. Well, combination there was dropped again by Carl James Martin, and the crowd here knows that this is going to be a short bout. The question is, who's going to end up with the uh, with the victory here? Great stiff jab. He tries to go for that lead uppercut. Failed to do so. But the footwork of Martin is something else. Great counter punches by Martin as well. Very Martin, snappy yeah. shots. Carl James Martin now trying to employ the jab to set up the power punches. And all of the shots that he takes are actually power punches. I've actually heard a comment before that he could be Bruce Lee reincarnated oh. into a Philippine boxer. It could be. He's very quick and snappy. Remember, he's 20 years old. Yeah. Only great body shot already stuns the 28-year-old Benesera Lelod. Again, they call him the Wonder Boy. His last Philippine opponent before this, he had been going up uh, particularly against the uh, Thai fighters. His last Philippine opponent, we saw him earlier, Vincent Bautista. Oh, that match. Yeah. That's, uh, that, that other one could have just been a tune-up, right? Yeah. So Vincent Bautista, last, uh, his last opponent was way back in October 28, 2017. So he's been fighting uh, fighters out of Thailand ever since. But now he has been, uh, now he has an opportunity to actually win a PVF crown. Is that jab. He's smiling. That great jab right now. Now the switch stance of Alulod. What a lot needs to do is just really work. Take him apart. Right. Take him apart. Work slowly. Work slowly. You can't go with the U. 20 to 28. That's a whole different thing. That's the hey. number one. Look at the confidence shown by uh, Mitra saying that it's all clear right now. Like they fixed the problem, at least for the moment. Round number two is underway. Noel Zarate alongside Rico Robles and our supporting main event for the vacant Philippine Boxing Federation Bantamweight Championship. Between Carl James Martin and the uh, red trunks trimmed in gold. And uh, Benazir Alolo. You know, Martin is undefeated. Yeah. 13 and 0, 12 KOs. Benazir Alolo trying to get it back. Well, Benazir Alolo, his last four bouts, has actually uh, been on a roller coaster ride. His last uh, bout was actually a loss in the 10th round against uh, Jude Lazo, as you said. But before that, he won via TKO. And before that bout, he lost a unanimous decision. But before that bout, he won again by a TKO. So this is actually, uh, well, a circle of life for him. Let's see if it'll <laughs> work in his favor this time. All right, it should be. He should be scheduled for a win after that roller coaster we just mentioned. And we were talking about Carl James Martin, of course, knocking out 12 of his 13 opponents. The last time he did not knock out an opponent, you'll have to go back to October 28th. 2017 and uh, we'll make that tw October, uh, April 19, 2017 when he went up against uh, Jason Buena Obra. That fight went the distance eight rounds and of course uh, Carl Hamas Martin won that one. The only non-knockout win in his professional career. But right now this fight oh! is Rock'em Sock'em Robot. That's what's happening. Martin is throwing a lot of big shots and Alulod is just accepting it. But Rick then everyone's trying to see where he is and throwing shots as well. Tangkap lo nang tangkap. Yeah, yeah. Parang alulod si alulod. Well, yan ang yari. He's got a solid chin, that's for sure. Okay.
Can he just survive the power? I mean, he can't just keep absorbing shots now from Carl James Martin. And Carl James Martin, even his movements were uh -oh. class. That was a swing and a miss. Almost cost him there. And a solid shot there coming from Martin. And Martin has pinned Alolo against the ropes. Great moves by Martin. Staying focused. You remember the rules oh, of boxing. Protect right. yourself at all times. Uh oh. That, that is now him. eight shots coming from Martin with no reply from Alolo. Martin just gave him a cute smile. You know, it's like, hey, is that all you got? Show you had movement. Oh, oh nice wow. shot. This kid's special. This is my first time to witness this yeah. guy oh, in action. Wow. A hot, a great head movement. Well, this is the first time I'm seeing him go up against the Filipino because he usually goes up against a Thai fighter and continues that, just goes on to demolish a Thai fighter. Final seconds, though, of round number two. So Alolo has done well to survive the onslaught. And he's trying to finish this round strong. And I'm like a ghost. You can't hit me. That's what Carl James Martin is saying. Lolo's management, yeah. grading patient, hot shotting is working its way. Watch out for this kid. And if you say kid, he's only 20 years old. Alolod now challenging him to go toe to toe. Yeah. Alolod now starting this round strong. Martin has seven, eight, nine consecutive jabs connecting to the head of Benazir Alolod. I want to see this kid's amateur record. <laughs> he looks very, very good. He looks like he's going to be taking those belts that he got. He's going to add some more. Either Muhammad Ali shuffles on him right now. Yeah. He's just clowning right now to yeah, get that win. but he's got a serious face while he's doing it, too. He's smiling a bit. Setting up some traps. That's what he's trying to do. Making sure Alolo will try to launch in there and counter to get that knockout. He's invading well as well. Talking about Carl James Martin. What Alolod needs to do is hit the body, right. you know, uh, he's headhunting, that's what he's been doing, and Martin knows that, as he just keeps on slipping and slipping and slipping, once again. The problem is Martin is too fast for Alolod to even keep pace with, he wants to keep him in front of him, but Martin all of a sudden just pulls out a move and slips to the side, and luckily for Benazir Alolod, he hasn't been hit yet. Remember that double end bag you mentioned at the yeah, gym? Yeah. yeah, this is when you work on a double end bag, you'll be easily hit him. But again, hit him in the body, and the head will follow. So all you got to do is hit him in the body. But Alolod's still trying to work on that head. He's getting, oh! oh he just missed that one, just grazed the chin of Benazel Alolod. That would have sent another guy to heaven. Good combination here, though, by Alolod. You know, the well, what you come to notice as well, when Alolod throws a hook, he doesn't raise his other hand. Mm -hmm. But that's how you check a hooker, is by throwing a hook as well. Right. Oh, Alolod showing some fight here, connecting to the head of Carl James Martin as we have less than a minute remaining in the third. Alolod now making Martin miss. Great jab, at Martin. Carl James Martin now going to the hook as well. And this is starting to become a tough round to score. Let's see who can finish strong. And the final half minute. I would love to spar with this dude. He's excited. Oh. He's hard to miss. Look at him. He's like a Pernell Whitaker. <laughs> That's his hand right there. The late, great Pernell Whitaker. Yeah. All the boxing fans out there. Almost got away with a the combination there as well. A tough round to score here, Rico. Final seconds of the third. Uh -oh. Nice shot. Uh-oh. Well, not tough anymore. Hey! Dean still take this at the same snappy, playful way. Right. You know, his last fight was a first-round TKO. So here we go. He's working the body already. Well, I guess Gokke and Jim, this happened. He dropped Gokke and Jim for the first time in the third round. By the fifth round, nothing was going to happen. Oh, great combination by Martin. And this is where Martin nice does his damage. What he's doing right now, though, is level changing. He's trying to set him up for a check hook, trying to invade him in, invite him in. Once he steps forward with a jab straight that usually all the Manny Pacquiao fans would throw, yeah. he's going to throw a hook, Martin. Uh. Look at the respect also being shown now by Carl James Martin. He knows that Alolod 
also has fast hands and good foot speed to keep up with him. But great head movement by Martin. It is rare that I see this here in the Philippines. You know, most oh, oh nice shot. As a left hand lead. A reminiscence of Dodi Ahas Nepes. Yeah. Coming out of nowhere with that one. And now Alulod is backing up Martin. Again, Alulod not going for any body shots. He's a headhunter. Yeah. Martin is just going for everything though. Barely that's escaped that. See, that was a bolo punch. Yeah. It's one of those punches that you only see from Riddick Bo. Uh -huh. Stiff jab just misses again for Carl James Martin. Martin no oh, longer play. Oh, what a gets counter. Tagged there by Anonodo with the right hand, and Martin is staggered a bit after that. Martin gone on serious mode right now. Yeah. Punches and bunches he's throwing. It's four straight. Connecting to the head of Alolod, but he better be careful. That's why he's showing a lot of respect now for Benazir Alolod. Alolod does have the hand speed to get through the defense, just like right there, Rico. Great counter punching by Alolod. Oh, nice one by Martin. Alolod, they're now trying to exchange power punches. And if that is so, Alolod's at a disadvantage. If you can only see the people here in Mandaluyo, everybody's standing with their cell phones recording. Oh, they know they're in the presence of somebody. And I'm talking about Carl Hamas Martin, who could be a future world champion. But Alonod is giving him a run for his money. And again, this is a vacant title they're up against. So it's anybody's game. It's anybody's trophy. Nobody won it. Nobody lost it. Yes. Someone's got to pick it up, though, today. He's got to keep on throwing. Martin changing his pace. Alolod still can't solve oh. that jab, but they do exchange right hooks. Final seconds of the fourth. Oh, Martin gets staggered. And Alolod finishes strong. There's just playing a factor. Now, you did mention Noel earlier that the collection of data. Yeah. Yeah, I think he is actually redeeming it right now. And Alolod and his quarter know exactly what to do question is can they execute oh nice one two combination coming from Carl James Martin as round number five gets underway Noel Zarate still alongside Rico Robles the fists of the future brought to us by Signal and Magdaluyo Jim is rocking right now and Lord playing the brave man fight throw it at me come on I'll take it I'll take it he has to take note that this guy got 12 KOs in his record in his 13 fights We've seen a lot of upsets happening. And if Benazir Alonod does win this, it should be recorded as an upset. Remember, James Buster Douglas, an 8 to 1 underdog against the great Mike Tyson. And he dropped Mike Tyson in Tokyo. And the corner wasn't even ready when Mike Tyson got dropped. That's right. Because nobody was expecting that. And the same thing with Manny Pacquiao against Juan Manuel Marquez, December of 2012. Walked into a foot. A foot that had a sandwich behind it. Right. And Manny Pacquiao, of course, got knocked out in the uh, sixth round by Juan Manuel Marquez. Can it happen here? Although, Carl James Martin is now fighting out of the corners. The corner traps that Benazir Alulod is setting. But you know, I, I worked for Alulod in the last round. Is that every time Martin would throw, he would throw. He would count it He would stun yeah. Martin. So he's trying to lure him in in that. Way, oh. but Martin is fighting him smart. However, Alolod got rocked with that body shot. Trying to stay out of the way of these punches, but he's hurt. Alolod is now covering up. And referee Elba Coloma is looking very closely at the development. Still no answer here from Alolod. Tries to tie him up. So but he cannot tie him up. And oh. down goes Alolod. Down goes Alolod. Took all that punch. Six, seven. Does he still eight, have enough? Yeah, he just nods his head right now a little reluctantly. But that was like a 16 punch beauty put together by the 20 year old from Ifugawa. It could it be is, a better time here, Rico. If he's a Alulod, he is getting rained on. Can he survive this? He only got 27 seconds left. 
end this round. He needs to survive the round. He needs to survive the round. If I were him, I would tie up. I would lean against the rope and tie up. 15 seconds. He's not going anywhere, though. At least now he's trying to punch back. Final seconds of the fifth. Switching his stance right now is Elulod. And that's going to do it for the fifth round. Officially a 10-8 round. He needs to step it up. That, that, that one could have been stopped. Right. He had an opportunity. And he's going to go to work again. He made adjustments as well. Just fighting off the pocket. He's not as shifty as earlier. But fighting off the pocket will invite your opponent to actually make mistakes. Then you make him pay. So now the aggressive start belongs to Benazir Alulod. Throwing a few jabs. To try to get the round in his favor, at least on the early part. And Carl James Martin. Remember, we gave the fourth round to Benazir Alulod, and maybe the corner as well of Hamas felt that they lost that round. That's why they stepped it up in the fifth. However, Hamas, Carl Hamas Martin gets hit on the side and uh, doubled up for a moment. Oh, nice shot over there. Multi level boxing, faking the low and aiming the high. Now, the problem is, uh, Rico, is the power still there for Alulod after getting knocked down in the fifth? I think Alulod's listening to us now that he's working the body. He has to work the body yeah. to be able to negate the head movement of Martin. Now, Martin now is seeing it. He's inviting him to go to the body. But with the uppercuts that's waiting for him when he slips and uh, what we call that shot is called a mustard on the shot. Mm. Where and you invite the person to throw the shot and you lean back and throw an uppercut, then right. a hook. It's what um, Bernard Hopkins threw to Felix Trinidad oh, yes, yes. in 20 or 2001 uh -huh. that knocked out Felix Trinidad. So right now, Benazir Alulod is going on a counter-punching expedition. That's a throw That's down. A push. Yeah. So they have to come out of the neutral corner, or the neutral zone. Hey. I was about to say neutral zone, back to Star Trek, right? They're coming out of the neutral corners. Now, it's usually during stoppages like this where Colonel Hamas Martin actually regains his bearings and goes back to the game plan. Just exactly what's Look happening right now. Punches in bunches. He kind of got headbutt earlier, but then he didn't mind before this exchange. No reply. I've lost count of how many punches connected there from Carl Hamas Martin. Bring it on, Alulod says. Let's go. He's switching stance. When there's an exchange, a heavy exchange, he would switch to a southpaw stance. Oh, nice shot by Martin. Oh, nice counter, though, coming from Alulod. So now Martin, the last time he went the distance was two years ago. This is the deepest any fighter has taken him since that time. See, the spring in his leg has changed. He's just standing there, doing more head movement, but the leg movement is not as much as this bouncy as the earlier rounds. Final seconds of the sixth round, scheduled for 10 for the vacant Philippine Boxing Federation. Big surge towards the end, but as we approach the championship rounds, which is a little later on, Will he have enough strength to get that job done? You know, this one is similar to what we've come to witness with Keith Thurman and Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. That an undefeated fighter, just like uh, Keith Thurman on the Carl James Martin, going against a veteran. Yeah. A veteran that's going to take you to the later rounds. So you have enough because, you know, his previous fight was a unanimous decision loss. A 10-rounder. Yeah. So he's looking. That's, that could be probably be the game plan. A little it's game plan. Take him in the deeper water. Let him gas out, then finish him from there. We haven't seen, I personally haven't seen Carl James Martin this deep into a, into a fight. That was a fifth round win against uh, Petro Haycock at Jim. A first round win against um, Yuti Chai Wana Wong. That was his most recent bout just last June. And again, the last time he was actually brought to the distance was way back in April 19, 2017 against Jason Buena Obra, that fight went the distance. Unanimous decision win for Carl James Martin in eight rounds. And he was 18 years old that time? He was 18 years old. Now he's 20, garnered enough experience. Uh -oh. oh! Wow, that was just a clean one-two. No defense by Alolod. Alolod slowing up. down as well. Yeah. Now his arms are starting to drop here as well, Rico. Uh -oh. oh, he gets hit. Oh! Oh! 
Oh. And referee Alma Coloma waves him off. And it is a TKO win for the new Philippine Boxing Federation Bantamweight Champion, Carl James Martin. But what a bout that was. What an action-packed bout, ladies and gentlemen. And that was the seventh round TKO for Carl James Martin. And we're gonna see a few of the highlights in just a moment for the 20-year-old from Lagawe, Ifugao province. And nothing to be ashamed of if you're Benazero alone. He's definitely gotten the respect now of Carl James Martin. And maybe these fighters go up against each other again in the future, but that was quite a tactical fight, a tactical game plan brought in by uh, Benazir Alonod to stretch this fight to the seventh round, Rico. You know, the game plan was proper. It's just the body couldn't take it. Yeah. The mind was there. He just took so much that his body just gave out. It's as yeah. simple as that. Well, the, the ring might give out right now as the Holy Fugal Province has entered the ring once again. Here we go for the final moments of the bout. Great, great shot right there. The power is there inside, outside. A lot of bravado made him pay. It's as simple as that. Right. That, that, there was no way El Mokoloma was going to have a Benazir Alolod respond to that punishment. But again, nothing to be ashamed of for Benazir Alolod. So the decision is already, or the official time now, is with Boy Villanera. All ladies and gentlemen, referee Coloma calls a halt to the bout at 1 minute and 31 seconds of the seventh round. We have a winner by a technical knockout. And now the new PBF Bantamweight champion, Carl Torment.